Hi everyone, today we are going to animate a chick, how cool is that? Make yourself a coffee, open Photoshop and let's draw a few pixels. What's up guys, uh, I told you I'll be back with another tutorial and here we go. This is another animation tutorial and in this one in particular I just wanted to show you uh, two really simple techniques uh, which will help you to make your animations better, uh, more fun. Uh, so, uh, and we will be drawing uh, a chick today. Uh, so let's get started immediately. Uh, you know, I will speed up this part because it's, uh, this tutorial is not about how to draw a chick, but more uh, on how to animate it. But I hope you can uh, follow it easily. Okay, we have our little chick, uh, we did it in a really simple way, uh, so let's start animating it. Uh, so once again we will be using timeline tool which you can find in window uh, timeline and we click on create frame animation, cool, we have created our first frame uh, and I hope you remember from the previous tutorial uh, how to use this, but basically you create a new frame and for that frame usually you would create another layer so uh, here we go we have the first frame and as usual we will create uh, some keyframes so initial state and the final state and then I will show you uh, really simple tricks uh, and uh, which we can add in the middle of those two frames and this will help us to make the animation uh, better more fun so I'll start with duplicate this frame. So what this chick will do, uh, will make its head uh, rotate from one uh, side to another, and then we will make it eat some seeds from the ground. Uh, simple as that. Um, let's add another keyframe. Cool, we have this one, and as usual we would uh, duplicate this one. Uh, duplicate layer, I'll call it chick2. Nice. Uh, as, uh, as always, we need to um, hide the previous chick from the frame number two, and on frame number one, we need to hide uh, this chick. So if this disappears in the second frame, we just make it appear again. So frame number one, we have chick uh, number one. On frame number two, we have chick number two. So that works. All right, uh, now I will make its head turn in a really easy way. I'll just select all of this, go to edit, transform, flip horizontally. All right, and I just move it to this position. Okay, uh, so that's okay. Uh, one thing we need to do, obviously the light comes from this side. So if its head turns to the other side, we just need to replace some colors here. Uh, so I just pick my um, pencil tool, remove these pixels here, make shadow here, and make light here, right? So its head, it's now turned. Uh, maybe something like this is better. Cool, so if we play it, it does that. Big no, 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 all right. <laughs> So um, I'll make this animation slower so we can see what's going on. Uh, I selected these two frames and uh, choose uh, as a duration other. Try 0.07. That should be okay. Uh, and now we can add a frame in the middle. And uh, one thing we will do here, uh, it's called uh, motion blur. Um, so I will duplicate this frame and then duplicate this layer, go chick 3, cool, I'll hide it on the previous two frames 
So just select the previous two frames and hide chick number three. And make sure on the last frame we see only chick number two. So we see here chick number one, on this frame we see chick number two, and on this one chick number three. So uh, the third one, uh, we will leave it like this. What we need to modify is the second one. So it's a step in the middle. So what can we blur? So if the, heads, the head is moving, uh, so we need to blur, you know, his eyes, uh, the beak and, uh, you know, all of it. So how would I do it? I would just pick this color, make a line here, pick this color, make a line here, remove a few pixels here and there, and be like this. And then make this one maybe something like that. Okay. So here you go. It does that. Let me see. Okay. Now the animation is a little bit smoother. And on the last frame, we will do another uh, small trick, which is which I call bounce. So once again, we duplicate this frame. And we duplicate this layer, call it chick number four. All right. Once again, you know, hide chick number four on all the previous frames, and then show chick number four only on the last one. And once again, we'll modify the previous frame because this is the final state, as as always. So this is the the final state we created uh, at the very beginning, and we are just adding a few steps in the middle. So what we're gonna bounce here, we'll bounce his beak here, right? So I'll just take chick number three, select his beak, and move it one pixel to the side. That's it, that's the only bounce we'll be doing. Uh, let's add a missing pixel here. And uh, in order to see better this animation, I'll just stop it on the last frame uh, for a bit. So I'll just choose uh, duration of the last frame for uh, one second. And let's play and see how it looks. Well, that looks nice. I think that's, a, that's already uh, a really fun animation. Uh, way better than if we would just use two frames, for sure. And uh, here you go. So this is the first part of our animation. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is actually um, j just for fun we'll uh, move his wings a little bit so I'll just duplicate this frame and once again I'll choose the duration of it back to 0.07 all right cool uh, I can leave it like this actually because this frame uh, remains the same as frame number four, we'll not modify this. Uh, what we need, we need another frame. And duplicate frame number four. We'll call it five. Cool, once again, hide the previous on the last one and hide the new frame that we created on all the previous ones. Okay, so that we have chick number five only on the last frame. Cool, and I'll just, you know, move this pixel, these two pixels up and remove this. So it just that does that, right? And I'll repeat it a couple of times. So I duplicate this one, move it here. Duplicate this one, move it here. Duplicate this one, move it here. And duplicate this one, move it here. Cool. Okay, uh, so one two three and let's uh, make it go back to the original position okay so uh, let's make the last frame uh, once again um, uh, its duration to one second just to stop it there let's see how it looks okay that's fine and now let's uh, move uh, its head back to the original position so we don't need to redraw all of it, we just uh, need to copy some frames and uh, make slight changes to others. So we will need this one, because this is uh, the, the part in the middle which like you know, turns its head. So we can use it to turn its head to any direction, so right or left, this, this one remains the same. So I'll just duplicate that and move it to the very end. And now I duplicate the very first frame 
and move it here to the end. Uh, but we need another version of it because we will need to do uh, once again the bounce of the beak, right? So as we did on the other side, we'll do it on this side as well. Uh, so let me duplicate this frame, uh, this layer. Cheek number, what number we have? Six already? Okay, cool. I'll move it to the very end here. I hide cheek number one on the very last frame and select all the previous frames and hide cheek number six. So we will make sure that on the last frame we just show this layer. Uh, so cool. Uh, now this is what happens, right? So in this one, I'll just, as I said, I'll just move the big one pixel to the left, just to create this little bounce effect. Okay, and redraw the missing pixel and remove this one. Okay, and we need uh, another. Uh, frame uh, of the initial position. So I, once again, I duplicate the first one, move it to the very end, and make its direct duration uh, one second. Okay, so let's see uh, our animation so far. Okay, I think that looks uh, very nice. Okay, cool. So, uh, in this last part, we will just, you know, I will show you using the same techniques, basically, how we can make animation of the chick, you know, eating some seeds from the ground. Uh, so, once again, uh, I just need to uh, duplicate uh, one of these frames. So, you know, let's duplicate the first one. Put it on the very end and duplicate the layer number seven cool. move it to the very end here so we have everything linear uh, remove chick number one from the last uh, very last frame and select all the previous ones and remove chick number seven so once again we'll make sure on the very last frame we have the very last uh, layer so I uh, once again uh, in here I'll create the uh, um, you know, one of the keyframes, so the final state, and then we will add a few in the middle. So let me show you how I can do this here. Uh, so I'll just redraw this part of the head. I'll just make sure I keep this color here. So we need to go to uh, previous frames to pick them up. Uh, so I'll just remove the head. You know, and oops. And do this. Okay. Maybe a bit more like this. Okay. Um, I know the head now it's kind of smaller than it was before, but it's fine. The animation will be quick and uh, the effect will be nice anyway. Uh, so cool, we created this, so it does that, you see, bam, 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 uh, but I need a frame, uh, you know, in the middle, uh, so I, once again, I duplicate this, I duplicate the layer as well, cool, so make it 8, hide the previous one, and hide on all the previous uh, frames, the last one, cool, so have these two active, and on this one in the middle, um, I'll do the motion blur. You know how we did before. I'll just extend these things here. Okay, so that's that. We can actually extend the head a little bit to make the effect more dramatic as well. Maybe like this. Okay, and now I'm going to repeat this uh, twice or three times, uh, let's see, so uh, let's duplicate the first frame because it has the duration we need, put it on the very end, so let's duplicate these uh, two frames in an old fashioned way, uh, so this one, let's move it here, now duplicate this one, let's move it here. Once again, this one, 
So I basically repeat the animation uh, three times, uh, let's say. So once again, this, this, and return the, uh, to the original position. Cool, I think I think that's uh, that's all right. So uh, let's play the animation uh, to see how it looks. Okay, I think uh, this is a really simple animation, but with these uh, two uh, tricks we put here in the middle, uh, you know, motion blur and bounce. You can make you know every animation uh, look uh, better, more fun uh, and enjoyable. So um, I hope this was helpful and uh, it give you, gives you some inspiration for your own animations. And um, please subscribe to my channel for more uh, tutorials, videos. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, you can also join my Discord server. All the links are in the description. And thanks for watching and see you next time. Thank you.